everybody! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We are back. Remember last week we went and did Isabel's room and today we are doing her parents' bedroom, Christine and Ben. It was a total surprise. They knew we were doing their daughter's room and while they were out, we also did their bedroom which was in need of a little refresh. We're shopping everything at a dollar store. So we're gonna do so much DIY, some are TikTok and YouTube inspired. I will link to some creators that inspired some of these ideas. And then we also have some totally original creative weirdo things that we're about to do. And huge thanks to Hoover for sponsoring today's video. We are going to tell you about them right now. Hello everyone. Before we get into today's video, we want to thank our sponsor, Hoover. We're all getting our homes ready for the holidays, and for those of us with kids, the human type and the furry type, you all know how much messes can put a big dent in your clean aesthetic and holiday cheer. Fortunately, Hoover created the Smart Wash Pet Automatic Carpet Cleaner to tackle pet messes on carpets, stairs, and furniture with automatic cleaning technology that is perfect for removing deep down dirt while resisting pet odors. It provides a deep clean as easy as vacuuming as it both cleans your surfaces as you push it forward and dries it all as you pull it back. If you feel like your space is ready to be clean, click on the link in the description below to add the Hoover Smart Wash Pet Automatic Carpet Cleaner to your cleaning arsenal. So that's some inspirational home cleaning content for you guys. Now let's get into the makeover. Okay, so we are in the bedroom of Christine and Ben married couple, also parents to Isabel, which if you guys watched our last episode where we redid Isabel's bedroom for under $300, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you gotta go watch that video and then come back and watch this video because we have such a major challenge to do in this room. So I'm gonna see what Joey thinks about taking these side tables and hopefully augmenting them in some way. They've got some lamps, which is great. I actually like this bedding. Definitely gonna repurpose this. The desk is an essential part of just the functionality of this room because Christine is a professor, a mathematics professor. She also said she's obsessed with hexagons. When someone tells me that they're obsessed with something, I'm like, okay, I have to work it into the room. So we're gonna try to figure out a way to work in hexagons into this design. Dollar Tree coming for your hexagons, or we'll probably have to DIY them, I'm assuming. These blinds, I'm hoping, are fixable. Right now, they're looking a little troubled. They've got the bed on this wall. They kind of tried to do an accent wall. I will say it's sort of a passive accent wall, but I'm gonna take a cue from that and give them a more statement accent wall. We're going for a sophisticated design, shopping entirely at the dollar store. Can we do it? Let's go find Joey, let's go shopping, and then later we're gonna meet up here. My sister's gonna help us with this video, and I'm so excited to work with her. We have so much fun together, so, oh my gosh, so much Who's ready to go to the Dollar Tree? I am. I am hopeful that we will find a lot of things that we can like upcycle or DIY into like sort of more classy, sophisticated accessories for the space. I think Moon's probably just gonna hang out here in the car with Grammy Nene. Dollar store, here we come! Should we get these for Moon? Oh my God, those are so cool. Those are fun. Should we get them? Joey, we just decluttered. Oh my God, these are cute. So here I'm with the frames because we want to make like hexagon shapes for her. So we can just get a bunch of frames and then take like all the short sides and make like smaller hexagons, all the long sides, make bigger ones and install them on the wall. Oh my God, are you Mr. <laughs> yeah. I recognized your hair and then I like heard your voice and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I think I know. Yeah. Like these, like spray, like paint these, like that faux terracotta. You guys have seen that going around TikTok. You can like mix baking soda with paint and you basically turn like cheap glass vases into like pottery looking vases. Here's our carpet oh, square. Yeah. These rocks are pretty for like in like the planters. Ooh, a bath 
scratcher. These are like nice solid. Like could you like string them together somehow? A row yeah. of back scratchers. <laughs> Yeah. This is the kind of content you guys want, right? Me doing DIYs with back scratchers. <laughs> All the back scratchers. Marbles. drinking the water and spitting it out. It was a good game. That's fun. Yeah. So, okay, okay, okay. Mom, they're gonna come <laughs> complain to us. Let's get back to the house and start Dollar Tree DIYing. Okay, so accent wall over here. Actually, this is a good point I think we should make because what they did in here is something I think a lot of people do. They come into a bedroom and they see that the rectangle is shaped like this and they put their bed in the same shape uh, with the rectangle. That's a good point. However, I like to split it mm. and actually use the longest wall in the room as a headboard wall. We're gonna center the bed under the window, but then we're going to justify it with our like artwork stuff. Paint that wall our beautiful dark green color, accent color, and then we've got to paint this wall back to that swapping, original. swapping accent, swapping wall. accent wall. All right, so Tess, you got that? We're gonna go. <laughs> oh, okay, great. So I'll just, I'll just, I got this, guys. I'll clean up. Don't worry about it. I don't need your help. I'm just gonna push it on don't, you. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> You're gonna... Wait, I think we're in the wrong... So the one thing that we got that was not at the dollar store was some paint. Because they don't sell wall paint. All right, so Tess, do you want to paint over with the old house color on this? Oh, no, yeah, sorry. sure. Give me the boring color. <laughs> what we're doing. So, how about we take one of these bowls, another one of these bowls, glue them together like so. We've got our cute rocks. We've got our cute faux succulents. Do some kind of cute little succulent planter, but I think rather than leave it this shiny chrome, which is not our color palette, paint it with the same mixture that I plan to paint these vases, the TikTok viral mixture of basically taking acrylic artist paint and mixing it with baking soda, which I scrounged. It makes it look like pottery because it gives it that grit. I think I'm gonna test out this mixture and just see that it's gonna work.
hot glue adding texture trick. Let's see if that will work. So this looks messy right now, but I know with a couple coats of this paint, also painting the inside, I think it's gonna look cool. And what I like about using the hot glue to add the texture is it just has that very like handmade look to it as opposed to using like a perfectly round bead or something. Okay, you guys, so in a quest to do some unique DIYs using dollar store items like never before seen, right? We're doing a couple like TikTok inspired stuff that you know you've seen before. It's sort of like our rendition of like DIYs that people are already doing. But we want to do some unique stuff too that you guys have never seen before. Just some new ideas, just some you know because why not kind of things, creative weirdo things. So um, we have thought of something that I think is going to be really cool. I hope it's one of those things where it could like either look really good or really bad. Um, hoping it's gonna look really good and that is to make doors for their existing side tables they have these side tables they are just like you know box side tables like your basic looking like light wood we don't have the luxury to like get rid of them and get them all new side tables so we're going to try to upcycle them so the idea is take these clipboards we already took off the little clip here because we're thinking we'll use this hard material it's thin but like nice and hard as the little door cut it to size and then I got a bunch of bags of these wooden dowels from the dollar store attach them with hot glue paint it all one color we're thinking like the white color from the walls that they have already existing they have a can of that in the garage and then for the pulls use one of our handy back scratchers cut it up into like a cute little bamboo pull for the doors and attach it with just some hinges that we have in our kit. So Tess and Joey are gonna try to tackle that project tomorrow morning. I have some stuff I have to work on for our furniture line tomorrow morning and then I'm gonna dive back into DIYs for the room. So yeah guys, there is a lot to do still, but ooh, let's see, see you later. Uh-oh. Hey, who's got the car key? Do you have the car key? Can you say car key? <laughs> Can you say Kamala? Can you say Biden? Biden? Can you say Barack Obama? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning! Oh my gosh, back in dollar store land got my diy set up here got the good old chop saw which you guys usually see joey using this but hey guess what i know how to use it too the thought is take apart the frames which i've been doing they very easily pull apart because they are a dollar they are obviously in what 45 degree angles currently to create the right angle for the frame so that's why i have the chop saw here because i'm going to cut them into Get ready for it, drum roll please, math. 30 degree angles to make a hexagon. Very happy that this is working. It could be like kind of cool to put something inside of these. They didn't have any like cute placemats at the dollar store. I was hoping I'd find maybe some like woven jute looking sort of, you know, something like that. But it's probably a better situation for the style that Christine wants because she does like the kind of more like minimalist look. If this were going in more of like a boho room, then I would want to use some backing for it. But since this is going into like more of like a minimalist vibes room, um, I think just the shapes themselves on the walls is going to be a cooler look.
here. I've been stuck in this house for 40 days with no food and no water, doing DIYs. I have a hundred thousand back scratchers. My captor is in the other room. What are you doing? Oh my God! That's him. Run for your life! which Christine said we could use for whatever, are now living in here because they look so beautiful next to the green paint. And now let's move on to these carpet squares, which you guys remember these were in like the pet section, which I'm not quite sure why these were in the pet section of the dollar store. There's also a dog on the <laughs> little tag right here. So I think what we can do is put like three and three together. So they're like two runners on either side of the bed. I think I'm just gonna tape them together at the seams underneath so that they stay together and they don't like slide apart. I'd say this is a pretty good runner hack. Lives to see another day. So guys, this, they originally got at Ikea like 17 years ago, she said, which I think it's a really cool bed. This looks so good. Tess made this. It was two dollar store pillowcases that she sewed together and then this is twine from the dollar store. I think it's really like a chic rendition. I think it definitely has that like mid-century thing we're going for, you know, kind of geometrics and like the asymmetry on here. Just very, very cool. So yay, Tessie. So obviously we're reusing their old bedding. And then we've got our gorgeous throw pillow. Joey! Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> do not do that. <laughs> it's the back scratcher. Joey, they are decorative back scratchers now, not functional. Wait, I, got, I have an itch. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, wait, over there. Down. Left. The irony that Left, I'm scratching down, is down, that. Down, 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 down. Next to. Right, 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 right. Ow! Oh, that feels good. All right, you guys remember these were our silver bowls. So I'm going to try to make this into like a cute little succulent garden for just on the floor here next to this metal chair, which if you guys remember last week in Isabel's room, Christine and Ben's daughter, she had two of these metal chairs in there. I think it works really nicely in here in this corner, just as another little seat under the TV, which obviously we moved. So let's make this into a succulent garden. Just something to kind of raise this up. That actually looks cute. That side table in place? Yep. Those turned out so cute. Like, I'm very happy with those, are you? Yeah, I mean, it's a certainly a challenge to use dollar store materials on this, but like, I think. Well, it's a challenge to use dollar store materials as like building supplies. Yeah. Like it's like decorating is one thing, but actually using them I mean, I think like, these look way better painted white. For sure. And with the like the casters off, because they have those little 
black plastic wheels on the bottom, which just kind of made them feel cheaper. Now that they're just little cubes with the doors painted white, yeah. much more chic, higher quality looking. Cause obviously that was like the challenge, right? How do we take dollar store items and make them look expensive? a scratch on the back for this design. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> to make a chic, mid-century, minimalist, sophisticated room was like a tall order, but I really am so proud of how it turned out. Obviously, yes, we did get the paint at the paint store because they don't sell wall paint at the dollar store. Love, love, love this beautiful green anchoring the bed over here. I love the bed on this wall so much more. The back scratchers are my favorite thing in here because like, I just love that we took something that's usually used for something else, also something so random like a back scratcher and made it into this really cool geometric installation here. It brings in kind of like the minimalist look of the linear art while also bringing in like the mid-century tone of that medium warm wood that we also have in the bed. Also, Christine is obsessed with hexagons. So we brought in kind of like a molding effect with our frames, repurposed their bedding, repurposed their plants, repurposed their lamps. New awesome throw pillow from the dollar store. We've got our cute little succulent garden moment over there. And the pottery DIY, thank you TikTok, which by the way, if you guys aren't following me, I'm posting DIYs over on TikTok, so follow me on TikTok. But I love how the baking soda thing turned out and obviously we added the little twist of using the hot glue to add the texture, little bumps and stuff. The side tables. Totally repurposed and upcycled using clipboards, dowels, and back scratcher pieces. Like, that's so cool. Let's go get Christine and Ben and show them their space. I'm actually nervous to tell them that it was all from the dollar store, but I think they're gonna like it. Let's get them. <laughs> all right, one. All right, stop right there. Ready? One, one two, two, three. three. Whoa! Oh, my. Back you can scratch my back. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is so zen and like so just chill. You had that uh, old IKEA bed, but it's actually like amazingly cool bed. Like, right? It's yeah, it's a really cool bed. I was like, this is actual IKEA, which like. <laughs> Which you is don't amazing. really think of as like a cool thing, but this oh bed is gosh. a cool thing. So you know we try to get creative on yes. on doing things inexpensively or whatever, and so this one this was, was a whole new challenge for us. We did this makeover using only stuff from the dollar, the dollar store. store. Wow, oh, no <laughs> are you serious? You cannot tell. Hence the back scratch art wall. Um, that's amazing though. <laughs> Seriously, you can count how much it costs by how many. Kids. So the kids cool. are gonna go crazy. This All is right, so let's bring the kids in. in. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome. and don't open. Don't open. Okay, are you guys ready? Okay, three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> right? Look at that. Isn't that awesome? That looks so cool. Oh my god, look at that. I know, who would have thought putting our bed this way? Well, you guys are a wonderful family. Thank you so much for letting us invade your space and give you makeovers. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so yeah, much. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll leave your window. 
Okay, we'll stop being creepy creepy people in the window. All right. Bye. Bye. What? What did did, did we just do that? Did we just do that dollar store thing? Like hardcore, cute, minimalist, mid-century. Oh my gosh, I'm very proud. I'm very proud and wow. Definitely our most inexpensive room we've ever done. I mean, you know, the dollars add up when you buy like 50 back scratchers, but I'm so happy with how it came out. Make sure to check out the links that I put below to get inspired by the other creators that are doing amazing dollar store DIYs. Like it's such a awesome community out there. So many cool DIYers who are just really crafty when it comes to all the dollar store stuff. And of course, let us know what your favorite thing was about the room. And also let us know what other challenge you want us to do in the next video because we have so many cool videos planned for you. So make sure to subscribe, turn your notifications on so that you get to see all of those. And also follow me on TikTok if you haven't yet because posting some fun content over there. And so yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. We will see you next time. Stay creative, stay weird, stay you because why not? Bye. Kira Bradford, Ratana Lorette. Those are our two rainbow member shout outs for today's video. Thank you guys so much for being members. If you wanna find out more about our membership, the link is in the description below. And thank you so much for being creative weirdos all over. We love you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.